Okay, calculus AP limits last part, chapter one. Last part, part seven. This is going to be part seven. We have, we had six parts before, and this is part seven. We have to find the limit of sine square seven x over sine square eleven x as x tends to zero, and this is equals to. We can say its limit as x tends to zero of sine seven x over sine eleven x times limit again of sine seven x over sine eleven x as x tends to zero. So this was this is simple now because we already in previous part, part six, we explained what is limit of sine ax over sine bx as x tends to zero equals two. It's seven over eleven, a over b. Same for the other limits, 7 over 11, so what we have is 49 over 121, and this is the answer. Now find the limit of 3 plus h squared minus 9 over h as h tends to 0. Also, this one is nice. <clears throat> we can either expand the identity, 3 plus h squared, or we can use it to factorize, leave it as square, and 9, we can say it's 3 squared, so what do we have? We have a squared minus b squared, so what is the factorized form of it? It's 3 plus h minus 3 into 3 plus h plus 3 over h. We got limit as x tends to 0 of 3, 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. What left is h into 6 plus h uh, over h. We simplify for h. What left is just limit of 6 plus h as h tends to 0, and that is 6 plus 0, which is equal to 6. Okay, number 29. Number 29, we need uh, a little bit space more. It's sine x plus h. Okay, let me erase those. It's sine x plus h minus sine x. can solve it down here so number 29 it's sine uh, x plus h minus sine x over h limit number 29 the limit as h tends to zero of sine x plus h is sine a plus b same it's root so it's sine a cos it's sine a sine h right Sorry, it's sine A cosine H. Cosine H plus sine H cosine A. It's sine A plus B equal <coughs> the rule of sine A plus B equal sine A cosine b plus sine b cosine a because if we have sine if a equal b so if you have sine a plus a we're gonna have sine a cosine a plus again sine a cosine a and that that will give me sine a plus a 2a it will be 2 sine a cosine a and this is the only maybe rule I I memorize it by heart and in trigonometry and all the other rules I just find them so minus sine x minus sine x over h <clears throat> what we do now is limit as h tends to 0 Let's factorize uh, for, uh, we don't have a, we don't have a, it's not a, it's x, sine x and cosine x, right? Let's factorize for sine x. The first term has sine x in it and the last term is minus sine x. So what left is cosine h in the first term and minus one in, from the second term when we take sine x common. And plus sine h, 
cosine x leave it alone over h let's simplify or let's uh, distribute the limit its limit as h tends to 0 of sine x cosine h minus 1 over h plus the limit of sine h cosine x over h as h tends to 0. What do we have now? Also, we can distribute the times, right? Its limit of sine x as h tends to 0 uh, multiplied with limit of cosine h minus 1 over h as h tends to 0 plus the limit of sine h over h as h tends to 0 times the limit of cosine x as h tends to 0. Right? So what we will have as an answer first this one by the rule it's zero and this one by the rule it's one so the first term turns all to zero plus the second term we don't have h to substitute so what left is cosine x and the final answer will be cosine x cosine x so number 29 its answer is cosine x last number which is number 30 <clears throat> limit of 1 over x plus h minus 1 over x limit of 1 over x plus h minus 1 over h over h as h tends to 0 isn't it as h tends to 0 also we can do what we can say its limit as h tends to 0 common denominator it's h into x plus h and what left up is h minus into x plus h right over h so it's equal to limit as h tends to 0 of okay let's say h minus x minus h over h into x plus h right i think so i did some mistake because it's minus one over x right it's minus one over x so this one here is x and it's not h so we have here x also we have here x we have this one is x and this one is x right times 1 over h right which is this one over h means times 1 over h what left is now it's easy i found that we i did some mistake because nothing will have as an answer here x minus x is zero so what left is minus h over x into x plus h times h and we can cancel the h we are, what we will have is limit over as x approaches 0 of minus 1 over x into x plus h we ended up with this one now if we substitute instead of h 0 what left is minus 1 over x times x which is x squared so the answer of number 30 and the last number is minus 1 over x squared.